Hey guys, it's Sam, and this week's video is actually an art talk video, and if you're new to my channel, it pretty much is videos where I talk about art-related things, either random topics, usually things that I'm experiencing at the time, or I don't know, just anything related to art pretty much. Um, and they're typically awkward because they're completely unscripted and I have no notes written down or anything, it's just whatever comes up in my mind. And um, completely irrelevant to the stuff in the background, which I am currently drawing one of my original characters, just trying to come up with um, some original outfits for her. Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so today I kind of want to talk about something and I'm a little nervous, I guess, talking about it because I try to not talk about these things as often as I can. <laughs> but thinking about it, I probably do bring it up quite often, which is just, I don't know, like right now I'm kind of going through a bit of a slump and I don't like to talk about negative things on my channel, like I'm try I try to keep things as positive as I can and if I'm feeling kind of crappy then like I'll make fun of myself in some way or just kind of wave it off as not a big deal, but I like I wanted to do an art talk video because it's been a really long time since the last one and it's like not everything about being an artist is positive like you know musician or dancer like you're gonna have things come up and that that's me right now <laughs> um well basically what i'm kind of going through right now is i feel inadequate i guess i just this year was a really weird year for me in terms of my art. Like, I, I don't know, like I came off of last year kind of doing really random stuff and not really progressing. Like, I don't think I progressed that much last year. And then at the start of this year, I decided to take this online class to kind of push myself, motivate myself, and it worked and it did a fantastic job. And I noticed that like right after I finished the class, like I jumped forward so much and so quickly that it was so wild to just look at my art and be like, whoa, this all happened. I don't know, it was like a weird jump and I don't normally improve that quickly. So it felt strange and unusual. And then kind of the rest of the year, I didn't really do too much. I tried to stick to like a schedule where I would draw every day and push myself and try and improve. And just as the year has been going on, I've kind of been slowly going downhill. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's, I just, I don't know, I feel like I should be improving faster, even though like I am improving. It's just a bit slower than what it was earlier this year. And I don't know, I feel frustrated. I feel depressed and yeah so like I kind of want to talk about this just because I want to show people like no matter your skill no matter your level no matter what you're doing like you're gonna probably experience these things and it's totally normal to go through art slumps and that's yeah but I don't want this to be all negative like I want to try and bring about some positives from this I want to try and push through this slump that I'm experiencing and I know that some of it was brought about by the graphite portraits because I've been doing a lot of those recently and those kind of put me in a bad mood which is why I'm not doing them anymore. If you've watched my other graphite portrait videos then you'll know that I'm not doing them anymore because they make me depressed <laughs> and I don't want to do art that makes me sad. I want to enjoy art and yeah, so, I mean, there's that. There's there's a lot of things that are kind of all mixed in together in this nice big random bowl of art depression soup. <laughs> um, but I thought that it might be a good idea to just... I feel like I'm repeating myself <laughs> for something, like, talk about it, just kind of work through it, because I haven't really talked about it all, even with myself, like, how I've been feeling. And that's not a good idea. Like, if you can't even talk to yourself about stuff, like, what are you gonna do? So that's another reason for this video. There's a, there's, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about for awkward, non-scripted stuff. <sighs> um, so 
I was looking through my list of ideas of things to talk about for this video and I have like a bunch of other ideas of topics that I want to touch on eventually and none of them are really hitting it because I kept being in this depressed mood and I kept thinking like oh maybe I'll wait a few days and then I'll see how I feel and mm, no <laughs> not any better and um, yeah so it, when I looked through the list again like before I started this video I noticed that one of them was to talk about my artistic journey and I was like well I could do a little bit of that alongside of this whole art depression super happy fun time topic <laughs> so I thought it would be a good idea to while I'm in this kind of more depressed state to look at my old artwork and just kind of go through where I've been and how things have changed and yeah so I have opened up in front of me you guys can't see it though but if you just go to my DeviantArt page then you know you can see it I'll put a link in the description but I have a improvement chart that starts from 2003 and it goes to all the recent years and so I'm just kind of glancing at it and it's you know I mean, you can look at my sketchbook videos on my channel too if you want to see some of my old artworks and I don't know it's just kind of funny to see where I started I mean I pretty much started from I mean I don't have the original first not first but like my first anime drawing was Yu-Gi-Oh and then when I really got into Inuyasha everything was Inuyasha style uh, Rumiko Takahashi and um it's just funny that to look at it and just see how much has changed like not just the anatomy but just some things look like I've been more comfortable drawing it and a lot of it was pencil <laughs> like I just did pencil all of the time and I did it I drew during scroll school drew a lot during school <laughs> and the unfortunate thing is after I got in the college I kind of stopped drawing for a while like I still kept drawing and posting things on DeviantArt but it was definitely much less often and I think that's just because I drew so often during all of my classes and then college didn't really like make that easy to do and I kind of really lost the point of like me looking at my old artwork like I felt like I had some sort of thing to go about like this really intelligent explanation of my art artistic journey <laughs> and no no not really um yeah i guess this just comes down to perseverance and not comparing myself to other artists which like i tell people to try not to do and i do try and not do it myself but sometimes i kind of feel like i'm a hypocrite because these things affect me but it's like, I'm human, they're gonna affect me, like I can't be perfect. <laughs> but I think what helps most, at the very least right now, is not even looking at like the super old stuff, like from when I was 10, back in 2003, and just look at some of the more recent, like the past few years, and I think that kind of has more of an effect on me than anything else, because it's that's re more recent stuff and then I feel like I can more accurately compare like my improvement because when I was 10 it's like oh I was 10 you know obviously I'm I'm gonna be crap when I'm 10 like there's gonna be improvement but when you compare yourself from like last year or the year before that or something that's like way recent and I don't even know if any of this is making any sense <laughs> I'm kind of all over the place with topics like I normally am with these videos. Feel free to click the link in the description to see the other two videos that I have made so far. <laughs> A link to the playlist. Uh, but um, I don't know, it's really hard to talk about comparing myself right now to the self that I was years ago. And I mean, looking at all my older artworks, it's, they're quite simplistic very um, easy. I rarely did anything complicated or really pushed myself and I guess like I I guess this is kind of also trying to make myself feel a bit prideful and I mean it's not a bad thing to feel some amount of pride like if you're kind of a douche about it then you know then you're kind of a douche about it but <laughs> I mean it's okay to have some pride 
in your work. And I kind of want to feel that. Right now, it's hard. But currently, looking at my old art, it does help. And I don't know, it's just, it's, it's tough to be in this kind of state and to look at art that you're creating and being frustrated with it and like not knowing really what to do to fix it. Because it's like, am I really producing stuff that's not good quality or, I mean, like, what is it exactly? Because I look at some of my like stuff from, you know, like a couple months ago and it's like, this isn't, you know, that bad. I mean, it's not like godly, but I mean, it's not that bad. And I'm still kind of happy with some things, but a part of me is kind of like there's stuff that's missing and I don't know what that is or like how to go about finding it and maybe I could you know do something really drastically different and try like a completely different medium or a completely different style or something that's like way out there and I mean I might do that just to see what would happen just to see like what would change Maybe I would kind of figure out more myself and just not exactly a direction because I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm not really all that caring about style. I know some artists make it like the biggest deal in the world that like, oh my God, I have to have this original style or like the universe will explode or something. But for me, it's like, Style will come when style will come. I mean, you can you can kind of force it out and like make yourself draw certain ways and things like that. But I, I have I think I find more enjoyment just playing around and seeing what things will come about. I mean, some I have some phases where some of my art is a little bit consistent, but I think most of the time it's a little bit kind of scattered. <laughs> Uh, this is like all over the place, of course, as usual with these art talk videos. Like, I had somewhat of a direction I wanted to take, which is to first be depressing and negative and then kind of turn it into something positive. And that didn't really happen. <laughs> so I'm sorry this video is like depressing. Um, I mean, I'd, I'll try to avoid doing them in the future, but I figured I would just do it this one time and see how it goes. I'm still enjoying art, I'm still liking doing it, and I'm still doing it. I'm doing at least something daily if I can, which is good. Even if it's like a quick sketch or a quick doodle, I think that helps to just keep the momentum going and try and break through this wall. And I mean, because it's not a block, like I'm not, there's no art block or anything with me right now. Like. It's just feeling crappy. <laughs> I can still draw, I can still, I'm still getting inspired, I'm still somewhat motivated, and like I'm still kind of producing things at a quality that I'm somewhat expecting. Like there's not, it's like the quality isn't worse than I'm expecting, like drastically. It's just kind of, there and it feels a bit unchanging. I don't know. Like a lot of this is difficult to explain. I think part of this is also kind of stemming from like, I can't remember if I already said this, I've been so all over the place. <laughs> but I think part of it's kind of stemming from I feel like I should be doing more. Like I feel like for how much time I have that I could be spending on the things that I want to do and like improving and all of this stuff like that I'm not spending this time wisely and then I'm like kind of chastising myself for this and yeah I mean it's a mix of things it's I don't know it's a struggle I'm struggling <laughs> right now and don't know really how else to say these kind of things and I want I feel like really bad that this is such a negative video and like I could be even talking this more in depth and making it more negative than it actually is but I'm trying to think of like positive ways to twist this and make it at least somewhat motivating or inspiring for somebody who's possibly going through this right now too 
Because, I mean, I know this isn't going to last forever. I mean, it's for all I know, it's going to end, like, right after I record this audio. <laughs> like, these things come and go so quickly sometimes, and sometimes they're out of your control, and, you know, that's that's not your fault. The funny thing about this, though, is if I were to take, like, myself from five years ago or something and show the myself, the things that I'm doing right now, and the things that I'm capable of doing right now compared to back then, I feel like I would have been impressed by that, because, I don't know, it's, you're always kind of thinking of the now and like where you want to be, and you never, I don't know, it's like you're not really focused on the things that you've accomplished, and I try to remind myself of that often because I know that that's something that helps me and that that works, which is why I love looking at old artwork of mine because it's really inspiring and motivating and is a really great way to lift my mood. <laughs> so I feel like me from five years ago would be like, wow, I'm going to be able to, to do that? Like, are you serious? Like, I can't even figure out how I would do that right now. And I don't know, I just gotta kind of remind myself that. And because this is a whole never ending journey. Like, you're, if art is something that you really love doing, whether it's a hobby or whether it's your job or whatever, like, it never ends. There's no end points. If you wanna keep improving, you're gonna keep improving. And sometimes you might feel like you're stuck, like I kinda am right now then, I mean, you're not really, because I'm still drawing. I might not feel great about it, <laughs> but it's still like, each one I do, each thing I draw is still like one more than there was before. Like, there's no way that there isn't any improvement happening, even if it's like totally random, like maybe I'm getting slightly faster, or something is becoming slightly easier to do even if it looks exactly the same. Or maybe I'm learning how to use a tool better. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, this big jump in anatomy improvement or coloring improvement or something. It could be small stuff. And I guess it's just, I'm not reminding myself about that enough recently. Another kind of funny thing is that I am actually editing another live stream highlights, and I'm looking at myself drawing this picture for the live stream and it's I'm just watching and I'm like I would do this differently I could do this better like this looks like crap I know how to do it way better now and that's crazy because that was from earlier this year and I mean that's a that's a big deal if I can look at something like that's so recent and say I could make it so much better right now. Like, I should feel proud of myself for that, that I managed to come so far in a little bit of time. And like, I don't mean to put down people who are slow for improvement, because believe me, I have been there. <laughs> I have had times where it, I was in the same exact, like I felt like in the same exact range of quality for a very long time. And I, yeah, so it's not a bad thing to improve slowly because, I mean, you're still improving. Like, you should still be proud of yourself for that. But in this particular instance, just for me, that was kind of impressive, I guess. Like, I don't know how to word it. Like, it was, I like I say, inspiring and motivating, like, over and over again. But it definitely helped with, like, being in this depressed mood and then seeing something from a few months ago and being like, I could do that better now. That's amazing to me, I think. And little things like that, I really need to think about more often. I don't want to say that being in this kind of depressed mood is a bad thing necessarily, because I think it's part of the process of being an artist. It's part of the whole journey. Like, even in life, whether or not you're in any art related field, like, you're going to go through ups and downs. Like, that's it's unavoidable and you're never going to be a hundred percent happy your entire life and so there's things that you can learn from these downsides and i think these are kind of great opportunities to either take breaks try something different look at where you've come from 
think about where you want to go, why, and just kind of ask yourself questions. And I think that could really help. And I don't know if this video helped anybody at all. I think it helped me. So that's something, I guess. I apologize for the kind of negative video. But um, yeah, if you guys have any experiences with this sort of thing or any advice for people who are going through it, definitely leave comments down below. I'm definitely interested in hearing other people's stories, whether they're, you know, having a great time or they're kind of like me and having a little bit of a not so great time. But yeah, whatever your experience is, feel free to comment below and I'd love to read them. Yeah, but that's about it, I guess. <laughs> So, um, thanks for watching. Bye!